What's up guys? My name is Anthony. Uh, this is my first uh, video on cameras and whatever stuff I find cool. Uh, but today it's cameras. Next time it could be my glasses, which are not cool. Do I look better without them? I'll go without them. I can't see, but I'll go better without them. Alright, my first uh, video will be about um, my first camera. This was given to me by my girlfriend, maybe a few months ago. I don't know exactly when, but a few months ago. This is what started off my craze, and what I've collected um, uh, four other cameras besides this. Um, going on five, if my bid on eBay goes well. My first camera is a... Superheads Blackbird Fly. I had to make sure I said that in one go. Superheads Blackbird Fly, which is a twin lens reflex camera. Uh, twin lens meaning it has two lenses, like this here. Alright, so you have two lenses. Uh, this one is where the picture is actually taken. It's where the magic happens. Or, this is where the magic happens. But the magic enters here. This is the hole of magic. Okay, and this is actually what you see through this lens. Uh, you open this little guy up, and you can see inside. You probably can't see right there. But you can see inside, you got the little square the, for the framing. Um, being that there's not really much going on right here in optics besides this plastic part, um, when you turn, you see, you turn this here, you turn this here, and uh, that's supposed to be to focus. And on a normal twin lens camera, you would focus almost if you had uh, an SLR. Meaning you would look through this hole here, or this viewfinder, not hole, and you would actually see if it's in focus or not. But being that this is a, like a Lomo or toy or analog lo-fi camera, um, doesn't have that. Although the DIY one that you can buy online is focused, or does have the ability to focus optically. But here, basically zone focus uh, ranges from 0.8 meters to infinity. So, um, you, if you can see here, when I turn, you can see the numbers coming up. Uh, 0 0.8, which is um, one yard, about one yard. Or um, you can go up from 1, 1.5, 2.5, 4 meters, 5 meters, 10 meters, infinity. But, you know, anywhere in between that will work. Uh, this camera's pretty basic. But what I love about it the most is that it has multiple exposures, which means that whenever I pull this trigger here, the shutter opens at 1 one hundredth of a second if you have it on normal mode. If you have it on bald mode, just hold it and open it, you know, if you know anything about cameras, bald mode. By the way, it took me my first week of using a camera ever to figure out what bald mode meant. I thought it meant bright. So, you know, if you don't know, I don't blame you. I was there. You have uh, two aperture settings on here, uh, f7 and f11. Um, basically, sunny, cloudy. All right. Let's see what else. Uh, basic. It's a film camera. All my cameras that I'll be doing in this video or pretty much any future videos, um, maybe besides one, I have one digital camera, not counting my iPhone. And uh, but that's for another time. Anyways, this is a uh, 35 millimeter film camera. Okay. Opens up here. Okay. You have, uh, you know, this is the eye. Your film, the roll goes here, okay, in here. Rolls across here. Wind it. Blah, blah, blah. In, you have a counter right here. A counter. And uh, right, this little doodad here is the, uh, you push that in uh, with a pen or a pin, whatever you want to do it with. Uh, and it releases the mechanism that's holding the sprockets or the, the wind knob in place, which is here. And uh, push this back until it locks in and just turn until the roll rewinds. You gotta be careful. These cameras, you know, being that they're, uh, I don't like using the word toy, toy cameras, um, this little button comes loose often. And uh, what happens is if you're not paying attention and you're turning really fast, like what I did, you turn and actually you can damage this little, this little uh, flappy plasticky thingy. Okay, 
If you damage that, then it becomes kind of floppy. Like with me, when I'm walking around, see, it, it comes loose all the time. And it, it, it's not a big deal. It just makes me feel stupid, along with the whole roll of film I wasted because I didn't know what bulb meant. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You got, a, you got a hot shoe here. So, you know, um, any flash will work. Even your Diana flash, you know, if you fit that in there. It's been known to get some really great images. It's tough. Uh, I've dropped it twice. It's still mad at me. I dropped it twice, but works just fine. There weren't, there weren't bad drops. It was just like from my very short table to the ground. I mean, I'm in Japan. I mean, the tables are not that high. But, um, yeah. Uh, if you order these online, I think... Retail from the company itself is like 120 US dollars. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors. I got blue because I like blue or off blue, whatever you call this color. Uh, you got orange, black, pink, red, white, purple. I'm sure they got multiple colors now. They probably even made it more colorful. Um, definitely recommend this camera. Um, if you're learning, it you learn a lot from this camera. Another cool thing about this is um, you get these little frames with it, which I don't really like messing around with because I just remove them all and have it shoot over the sprockets anyways, um, which you can develop to have the sprockets in your pictures or you don't have to, but you know that's up to you. This one here is a square format. I used it once, didn't like it. Um, I just felt like I wasn't using very much of my you know, film. You know, if you're gonna make it square format, just Photoshop it after. I mean, I'm not, I'm not for Photoshopping film pictures, especially with lo-fi cameras. So, um, but yeah, if you want it square format, just go ahead and use iPhoto or Aperture or Photoshop, whatever you want to use. All right, so that's pretty much all I have to say about my Superhead's Blackbird Fly. Um, check it out. Google, eBay, anywhere. It's a good camera. Once again, I'm Anthony, the white guy in Japan. Uh, I love you.